Well, it is six months today until the track and field events begin at the Beijing Olympics. And Yana Rawlinson says her preparation is right on track despite a niggling toe injury. She took some time out to talk to Sportsline with her former teammate Melinda Gainsford-Taylor. And I started by asking Yana about motherhood and its effect it's had on her career. And we all agree, it does change your whole life. It's a different perspective. And, you know, obviously I love running, but um, my child is, is my priority and my number one love and my husband, obviously, in my life. And it's fantastic it's very well-being. Beijing, exciting times. Must be killing you from the from the, watching it on television, seeing these guys in the yeah. lead-up, all the excitement, coming to a lunch like this. Well, you know, it's weird. I had a dream, I think, two nights ago of <laughs> coming in and they're going, OK, Mel, we need you the four-by-one relay. And I go, but I can't. I, I haven't trained. I haven't sprinted in eight years. So uh, it's weird coming up to an Olympic year, but this is the second one I haven't been to. Like, my last one was Sydney. But, you know, I love it because, you know, looking at Yana and all our other athletes and you know, you sit there and you watch and you feel like you're on the track with them and, you know, and that's what I love about it. You know, you'll always have a passion for your sport and, and you'll always watch it. So I'm looking forward to, you know, sitting there in the chair at home and enjoying it all. Reverse situation for you, Yana. Yeah. Do you look back at girls like Belinda and just think of what they achieved and look back with the family and everything? use that as inspiration to do what you're doing? Mel was my idol when I was a child. She knows this because when I was about 14, our joint coach at the time came up and asked me whether I'd like to train with Mel and that was the beginning of my Olympics. The first Olympics we did together, Jackie Burns took us to the Olympics together and she was like my big sister and like all the nails and everything, all my little girly things come from this lady. So, um, you know, obviously it, it, it's a big Olympics this year and I'm enjoying it. It's going to be my third one and hopefully not my last but it's a very important one this year. You've just been over to Beijing, checked it all out, came back, you're not too worried about the pollution levels, everyone's in the same boat. That's exactly right, you know, from lane one to eight, certainly not going to change, and the Olympics for me is coming home with medals for your country, not necessarily times, and I really don't think it's going to be an issue anyway, because I mean, think about it, this is China's chance to so showcase their country to the world, they're going to pull out all stops to make sure the conditions are as good as they can be. I want to get both your views on this, you see some of the young guns in there, mm. these young up-and-comers... <laughs> Which is Imagine how old I feel. I mean, this is a girl 17 I was training with. Now I look at her and I, I'm sort of bowing because she's had two world championships and now you're talking about her being old. But I am one of the oldest in the team now. Yeah, it's I, really, it's, it is. It's only 20, 25, but the kids now. are so young coming up and yeah. I've been on the team for eight, uh, nine years. Forever. So therefore. Yeah. Yana the veteran, what about the American stars coming out here? All part of just promoting not only the Olympic year, but athletics in Australia and a bit of inspiration for all the other, others as well. Absolutely. You know, Jeremy Warner is coming out and there's a couple of young four hurdlers who obviously I was going to be running against, but it's just great that they see that our season is a, is a time in their career that they can come out and enjoy our country and it gives us a chance to showcase our athletics to the rest of our, to Australia. A few words of inspiration to Yana, one mum to another. Oh, I don't think I need to give her any. <laughs> I tell you what, if I get up and try and do a run in the morning, I might give her a call instead. <laughs> she what do I so need fit. to do? <laughs> no, but you are, your body, no. she's in so, such good shape. It was, it's quite funny. We've always had things. <laughs> she could run a four by one any day if I need her. <laughs> might pull a hemi, though. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on Sports Live. Thank you. <laughs>